Robert and I are stepping forth to put some of this tongue and groove onto the walls that Robin has put the uh, OSB on. Do you remember earlier in the videos, we put the insulation, then the sheetrock, and now the OSB, which will provide a backing or a nailer for the tongue and groove, which we're about to put in. And so we're getting ready to start. <laughs> started on this week's adventure make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss any of our adventures and this is as you can see it's a six inch uh, actually a seven inch tongue and groove so we're gonna start on that back wall over here and attempt here in this corner if you can all see this or not but we're down on the base right here and so we have a, a measurement that's just less than 10 foot so rather than take a, a 10 foot board at 120 inches and cut let's say 16 or 18 inches off of it we're going to instead use two boards and make up the difference and one of the reasons being is because we're eventually going to have a bed built into the walls in this area so the splice or the view of the seam will be hidden behind the bed. So cosmetically, it'll look like it's a full piece. The OSB looks like patchwork quilt. However, there are studs behind there and it'll act as the nailer when we put the uh, brad nailer through the tongue and groove and into, through the OSB into the studs with two inch brads. So right now, Robin and I are working out because we have a a bunch of miscellaneous tongue and groove that we've been blessed to have donated from our good friends down there in Wasilla, Mr. Robert and Miss Kathleen, and they're pretty gracious to give us a surplus of used material. However, it was in pretty good, decent shape, and we're very thankful to have it here put into this cabin. Try to get down. Hey, are you gonna go to the down to the bunker? Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. Let me step up on this door. I can get that. Something like right here in the corner, right here. No. On uh, the inside. Well. Robert and I just tried to level out this building because it's sitting on I-beams. It wasn't true level. Of course, in the winter, things settled. So now that the weather's warming up, ice is melting, and we had to make some minor adjustments out on our I-beams with some shims. And so, as you can see, we just ran the first of this tongue and groove. And so we're not necessarily true perfect, but she's pretty close. We have a starter on the floor. We have a splice, so we're going to be careful that we don't put the splices one above the other. So we got a couple pieces here that we're going to use. And it looks like the shorts on that side. So we'll go and set the mail inside this one up to that. And that's going to tuck in there like that. This is going to tuck in here like this. And Lord willing, this is close to level. And as you can see, we're in the bubble again. So we're hoping to into this here and then work our way up and I'm probably going to do something different with that up there but for right now this is going to work for us. Aunt Robin, would you like to explain what we're doing? What we're doing here is we're putting knotty pine tongue and groove on this wall on top of 
OSB, it's going into the OSB on top of three layers of insulation in this cabin. And it smells good and it looks lovely. And it's very countryish. Welcome again to Seven Mile Hill Sanctuary. As you can see, we've gotten the trim put inside the windows. Robin and I have set some of this wood that's been toned and stained and cleared, and we've trimmed out the sill. 
Uh, Robin has taken and run this material through a table saw and used the chop saw to cut a 45 degree angle and we have taken this trim along with these rips and put them into this window casing and thus voila here's your use of some of this tongue and groove that we've seen on the wall here we've utilized some of the scraps and made window trim hope it's uh to your liking i know that's for her and i that's what we've chosen and uh for those that come in to stay at seven mile and we hope you enjoy it too so stay connected